Oh, man. <laughs> Coffee and tools. Always something else, right? It's an RV. It's supposed to be that way. That's the rule. Something always goes wrong. I was working on the uh, USB for a film video, whatever. We were going to put that on the YouTube so, you know, you guys can see what, what I'm doing. Middle of this uh, whole situation, my uh, engine AC quits. And, man, I am, I am so glad uh, that, you know, there was some kind of a problem under there. I had no idea what I was in for. But uh, I took the compressor off, ordered another one. It's a Chevy... I guess 454 big block, so it wasn't too hard to find a compressor and a really, really, really good price. Got a compressor, pre-filled oil, really it's just a bolt-on situation, throw a couple new O-rings on it and hey, you got to, you know, you're back in business. But uh, what happened was the, uh, I had to get the belt off. Well, when I got the belt off, uh, let's see if I can... The belt is almost cracked. Uh, I don't know if we'll get the focus on that. Yeah, the belt's almost, it just, I mean, just cracked to bits. The, the thing is ready to just fly off. So, yes, you know, change it now while I'm looking at it, right? When I got the belt off, <clears throat> I checked the idler pulley, tension pulley. Guess what? Yeah, shot. The, this whole rig has like not even 50,000 miles on it. I think in a lot of ways the industry should be embarrassed because, you know, at 50,000 miles most cars are still in pretty good shape. RV, not so good. Yeah, there's a time element. Uh, this is an older unit. This is a 2000 whatever, so, you know, Airstream, so it's like, yeah, it's it's a little tired. So I put new, new, new pulleys, everything on. Went to put the serpentine belt on and that thing was a bear, but I got it on. So I'm a happy camper. So we got new belt, new bearings, and a new compressor. Now I gotta spend about two hours vacuuming the compre the uh, air system, the AC system down. Uh, once I get it down, then we can put recharge it. I never lost any uh, AC uh, fluid to the atmosphere, so we didn't you know pollute or create a problem. There wasn't anything in the system. Uh, I was just checking it, and when I was doing some checking, I put the the uh, meters for AC on there, and I got 110 pounds off both sides of the compressor, which means yeah, it's you know it's done, it's over. Get a new one, you know, and also change the dryer on the uh, AC system. So with the new dryer, uh, everything new in place, uh, we should be able to just vacuum down, put gas in, and hopefully we got a good AC system that'll run for a long time. The uh, belt thing though, uh, I hate to say it, but you know, I was really happy to change that compressor because of finding this, because let's face it, out on the highway somewhere, it would not be a good thing. And while I'm at it, I got two belts. Good reason, put the other one in a toolbox somewhere with you and carry a spare serpentine belt in case, again, for whatever reason, something should break. Hey, I just thought uh, we'll jump in and you know, sort of catch up with you guys to, to see how much fun I'm having. I am having a ball, you know. Like, I, I can't get enough work done and something else is busted that I need to fix. Oh, man, cool. Anyways, thanks for watching C Crazy This Week, Coffee and Tools. That's what happened. That's where we're at. We'll get back to the USB as soon as possible. <laughs> Adios.